So this is a Mamiya Seiko NC1000S and it is a 70s era film camera that um, I used to shoot with a few years back. It was actually the first film camera that I bought uh, when I started to, started to get into film during the COVID era actually. It's got a 50mm f1.4 uh, Mamiya Seiko lens which I think is an M42 mount. I'm not 100% sure. This was my first foray into film essentially and it's got so many quirks. Um, there's so much that doesn't work on this. Uh, there's no battery. I couldn't find a battery. If you look over here there's no battery in here so the shutter speed is fixed at or supposedly fixed at one one thousandth of a second it's just a really like an ancient relic but surprisingly it worked um, I got some decent shots and it was just so much fun to shoot with essentially this camera uh, that I've got here this Mamiya Seiko NC1000S is analog in every single way and I didn't think that I would find fun in shooting or joy in shooting an analog experience like that that was until i got the tt artisan 25 mil f2 now just to be clear there are a slew of better lenses in the fuji ecosystem that you could choose from uh, the 23 mil fuji f2 the native lens that's close to as perfect uh, you know of a 35 mil equivalent as you could possibly get there are also a ton of third party other third party lenses as well but they do all come with trade-offs like being bigger and of course more expensive i previously made a video about the joy of shooting cheap where i did a street photography session in guangjiang market with the tt artisan or seven artisan I'm not sure which one but it was a 35 mil f 1.4 manual focus lens and i feel like on that little excursion i came away with images that really belied the price of the lens greetings youtube my name is stuart and i'm on a mission to document my journey as a photographer and videographer using the fujifilm eco system sharing the gear and the settings that I use all while showing you how I spend my downtime here in South Korea. So in this video I want to share with you how this little TT Artisan, this tiny little lens, this 25mm f2 lens has brought back some of that analog joy that I first discovered when shooting with my Mamiya NC1000S. Now there are a few things that I do like about this lens off the bat and I just want to be very clear TT Artisan did, did send me this lens but they uh, did not pay me anything uh, and they have no uh, say in this video and they have not seen it before it's been uploaded. So the first thing that stands out to me about this lens is the size. It is what you would call a pancake lens and that size makes it a lot of fun to shoot the form factor means that it pairs perfectly with the xc4 i've always loved pancake lenses going back to when i had a canon 1200d um, and canon make a 24 mil uh, f 2.8 pancake lens which i used back then and then also on my sony a6300 i had the sony 20 mil f 2.8 pancake lens so i've always had this affinity for small pocketable pancake lenses like this and being a pancake lens you know means that the setup works well as an everyday carry setup it slides into uh, and out of pretty much all my camera bags very easily it's not obtrusive it's just a super conveni convenient pick up and go type of setup when it comes to edc everyday carry cameras generally the one that you're go going to go for is the one that is the smallest even if it comes with certain compromises i think there's also something to be said about how these slightly smaller setups make you less intimidating as a photographer especially when you're doing street photography the second thing i want to talk about is just you know some of the specs on this lens so this lens opens up to all the way to f2 and that is nothing to be scoffed at look at f2 you're not going to get amazing results but you are going to get images with and i'm going to say the c word here character so this lens is the complete opposite of clinical um, you know there obviously are going to be some imperfections some flares you know low contrast images i will say that the flaws are not like other cheap lenses where the results are sometimes unusable and first of all there is a decent amount of vignetting which i kind of find charming especially for portraits it, gives it a very interesting look um, and you know a vignette is yeah, something that you can use you know in a very artistic way so that does give your images a pretty dreamy look but when you do nail focus and the lens is wide open you do get a fair bit of detail especially on facial features it gets better when you stop it down to f4 f5.6 and even uh, down to f8 and you get you know relatively crisp images across the frame uh, especially in you know sunny bright conditions it really works a treat it is worth talking about 
about the price because it's hard to ignore that this is a fastish classic street photography focal length lens for something ridiculous under $60. And it's not complete dog shit. So at $60, you get a solid metal construction, a really nicely damped focus ring. Although I will say that the lens cap is a bit of a dud and I hardly use it. And if, I, if we're asking, you know, who is this lens for? I would say if you're looking for one of the cheapest, smallest lenses possible, then this is for you. Let's say you've just entered the Fuji ecosystem and all you've got is a bog standard kit lens and you kind of want to branch out uh, and you're maybe on a tight budget, then you know this is that first step into the wider ecosystem. You can hone your skills a little bit and for those purposes this lens is about as good as it gets at this price point. The truth is cheap lenses are a dime a dozen these days and if you've already got something like the Fuji 23mm f2 which you know is a, is a fantastic lens, it's a lens that I definitely want to get at some point myself, you might be asking yourself do you need this little TT Artisan 25mm f2 pancake lens? The answer is probably not seriously but I have to say that using this lens blends a very specific um, and a very special analog experience with those classic Fuji colors which are of course a big draw of the camera ecosystem don't get me wrong this is not in any way um, you know an exact replica or the exact same experience you're gonna get when you shoot film but it is a fun experience and I feel like that is what photography is and should be about so if you enjoyed this review slash chat about this TT Artisan 25mm f2 pancake lens then do feel free to like and subscribe as I post more videos about my journey in this Fujifilm ecosystem sharing the gear and the settings that I use all while showing you how I spend my downtime here in Seoul South Korea feel free to follow me on Instagram and threads link below for more work taken with this lens thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one